Brooklyn Independent Television. At this year's annual meeting of the American Society for Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, a 26-year-old undergraduate from Long Island University will be awarded a top honor. Her story of triumph and achievement is sure to inspire. My name is Martha Lewis. I'm an undergraduate biology student at Long Island University, Brooklyn campus. I submitted my abstract at the Experimental Biology Seminar in, this, in California. And this is like an annual conference where thousands and thousands of scientists, PhD candidates, candidates, faculty, graduate students, and some undergrad students are submitting the abstract and they have to present. They have the American Society for Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. So I send my abstract under them. And they, after reading my abstract, they said, okay, we want you to present a post, we want you to do a poster presentation and also they want to include my research in their um, news release. Basically, I worked with Pseudomonas aeruginosus. It's a type of bacteria that causes nosocomial infections in healthcare settings. So for example, when people get admitted to the hospital or healthcare setting, they end up contracting some of like a skin lesion, which is similar to staph. But this type of bacteria is a little aggressiver than staph because it's highly resistant to antibiotics. But well, mostly I use the carbonacillin or um, tocacillin, which are the, it's similar um, molecular structure. And whenever you administer this type of antibiotics, the bacteria uh, possesses resistance. So what we did was we used a compound known as polyamine. It's an, uh, you know, it's an organic compound that minimizes the concentration level of the antibiotics. So with the, with, the, with the polyamines, instead of doctors administering, let's say, 256 microliters of the antibiotics, in conjunction with polyamine, they can only administer up to like eight microliters or four microliters, but they have to administer this compound, like a two microliters of the compound. So basically we found out that using this compound in conjunction with this antibiotics, it lowers the, um, the resistant mechanism. So doctors can actually use that in treating patients. Right now, um, I took great interest in researching because I want to do MD-PhD, like go to medical school, get a medical degree, as well as pursue a PhD career. Where I can do research that is related to human infectious diseases, and I can go back to Africa. I was born in Sierra Leone, West Africa, and this country had decade-long um, civil conflicts with just individuals that disagree with the government. See. Unfortunately, like 1998, January 6th, I still remember that. I was young, granted, and it was on a Monday, January 6th. Like, that was the first day we had schools, schools to open up, everyone was happy to go back. And then the afternoon, like late afternoon to night, we were in the house watching TV with my family. And my younger brother went outside and he came back and said, I think something is wrong. There's a lot of people outside running, crying, saying, oh, the rebel are attacking, killing people. And then when we came outside, like we stopped a couple of people who were running, they said, yes, the rebel are attacking. They finally entered the city, which was a lot of, a lot of things, people didn't expect that to happen. So the same night, everyone, of course, panicked and we wanted to gather our things and said, okay, let's just join these people in running. And my mom was like, no, if anything is going to happen, we all are going to stay in the house and just pray that nothing happened. And my childhood friends and his family, they actually called and said, okay, they were leaving. They are packing up and joined, they're going west because we were in the east side. And we stayed in the house, prayed. The next morning when we wake up, I found out that my friends, the ones that are left, all of them got killed. Like, 85% of the people that left that night got killed. After witnessing all those heinous crimes, seeing all those blood, seeing people just literally dying from hunger, starvation, and the only thing that keeps um, coming on my mind, like really, how can I help those people? And then when I moved to Germany, I'm like, I think I want to do something in a medicine, so at least when I see someone dying, I can be able to perform a simple CPR and save them, or like probably just do something to stop the bleeding. So I think that was like my great influence in pursuing medicine. 
Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.